Hello, it's Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a quick example of PARS defects, or PARS stress fractures in a young girl. She's a 15-year-old, and she fell a couple weeks ago and is now um, complaining of low back pain. And x-rays are normal. And on the MRI scan here, we see two sagittal views looking in profile. We see the vertebral bodies, or these squares, the bones. In between, we see these cushions. These are the intervertebral discs. The discs look very healthy here. They're very bright on this view. And the bones are nice and dark on this view. It means they're normal and healthy. The uh, spinal canal is this area back here. It's filled with fluid, which is white. And then in the back here, we see these spinous processes in the very back. Now, there's bones that bridge the vertebral bodies in front and the spinous processes in back. If we go off to the sides, we'll see those. Right back here, we see the bone going backward. This is a pedicle. This is a facet that articulates with the vertebral body below it. Another facet joint over here. And we see the problem in this girl right here. This is the pedicle and the area here we call the pars intraarticularis. And there's brightness there, that's marrow edema. We go on this view, we see it's dark. So the fatty marrow no longer looks fat. This is um, an injury here. So this is a non-displaced fracture, a stress fracture of the pars intraarticularis back here. This is on one side, we're gonna go to the other side. Here's the left side, an area of darkness there. So it looks like there may be a little vertical fracture right there through the pars intraarticularis. So this is a child who has a falling injury. And again, marrow edema back in this characteristic location. We call these bilateral pars defects or bilateral pars stress injuries. Sometimes there'll be a well-defined gap and the vertebral body will slip forwards. And then you know that um, we'll have a hard time healing because the bone is separated. But in this girl, the bones look like they are not separated, and there's a chance for this to go on to heal with conservative therapy. Thank you very much.